ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Today, we're putting that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, I am Jules Gia. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. The search continues for those na gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Kaya ba nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season? Ang mga may kaya ng workout na yan aabot hanggang final week of competition at isa sa kanila ang tatanghaling K-Check Champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. We start with Marvin. Marvin is a civil engineering student of TUP Manila. His hobbies include watching anime and playing guitar. He's also an active member of the music ministry in his church. Next, we have Maria Kyle. Maria Kyle is a fourth-year secondary education student of Colegio de San Gabriel Archangel of Caloocan. She enjoys listening to podcasts and watching TikTok videos. Up next, we have Sofia. Sofia is a BS clothing technology student at UP Diliman. She is a lover of 1950s inspired fashion and the black and white color palette. She is also a Latin ballroom dancer competing in the National Dance Sport Championships in the UAAP. And finally, we have Stella. Stella is a senior economics student at UP Diliman. Her hobbies include watching movies, doing graphic design and art, and traveling. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. First, we have Professor Ricky Nelias of the Institute of Chemistry, UP Diliman. And we have Professor Luisa De Leon Bulinao, former chair of the Department of History, also at UP Diliman. And science high school teacher, quiz show champion, and author of textbooks and reviewers, our very own quiz master, Jose Ramon Lorenzo. At ngayon, contestants, this is round one. Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. But make sure you wait until you are acknowledged by the host. Correct answers are 10 points each. Let's begin. Question number one. The WPS is a body of water that refers to parts of the South China Sea that are included in the country's exclusive economic zone. What does WPS mean? Stella. Uh, West Philippine Sea. West Philippine Sea is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. The flu is a viral infection of the nose, throat, and lungs. Flu is short for what term? Stella. Influenza. Influenza is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number three. What Southeast Asian nation uses an official currency called the baht. Marvin. Indonesia. Indonesia is wrong. Stella. Thailand. Thailand is the correct answer. K-check. Question number four in math. What number is 80% of 200? Stella. 160. 160 is the correct answer. K-check. Question number five. The PGH is the laboratory hospital of medical science students enrolled in the University of the Philippines. What does PGH stand for? Sophia. Philippine General Hospital. Philippine General Hospital is the correct answer. K check. Question number six. Caribou is another term for which large antlered mammal famous for pulling Santa's sleigh. Stella. Reindeer. Reindeer is the correct answer. K check. Question number seven. What school won the UAP cheer dance competition in 2021 and 2023? This school is not represented by any of the schools here today. The correct answer is FEU or the Far Eastern University. Question number eight. Complete the popular saying or simile with an insect's name. Busy as a? Sophia. B. B is the correct answer. 
Okay, check. Question number nine, this time in sports. What term may mean to slam the ball to the ground in the end zone in American football or to hit the ball with force to the opponent's court in volleyball? Spike. Maria Kyle. Spike. Spike is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. In the films, She's the One, My Ex and Y's, and Every Day I Love You, which actors starred with Liza Soberano? Enrique Marvin. Hill. Enrique Hill. Enrique Hill is the correct answer. Question number 11. What does the Ka in Kamanava stand for? Maria Kyle. Kalookan. Kalookan is the correct answer. K-check. Question number 12 and the last question for this round. From the Latin term for bookstore, what general term refers to a building or room containing collections of books? Stella? Library. Library is the correct answer. K-check. And that's it for our first round. Maraming salamat, attorney. So after that round, leading si Stella with 60 points, followed by Sofia and si Maria Kyle with 20 points, tied sila dyan. And si Marvin naman merong 10 points. Okay, so chichikahin muna natin uh -huh. yung mga contestants natin. We start with you, Marvin. So medyo madalang na, no, na nakakarinig tayo ng mga kabataan na very active sa church activities. Pero very interesting itong music ministry that you are involved in. So tell us more about it. So ako po ay kasama sa praise band ng aming um, music ministry. Especially guma humawak po ko ng gitara. Ako po yung naglilid ng gitara sa amin. And also, I'm also a member of our choir. So yun po ako naging active sa aming church. Um, sa church po namin. Napaka-inspiring, mm -hmm. di ba? Sana mahawa, ma-inspire din ang ating mga viewers natin. Mapunta naman tayo kay Kyle. Bilang isang future teacher, palagay mo ba pwedeng maging educational tools ang pakikinig sa podcasts at mga TikTok videos na actually hobbies mo talaga? Yes po, kasi po uh, sa society natin nowadays, talagang more on technology na po. And then yung mga kabataan po, pag nag Ah, uh, nakikinig sila ng podcast like that. May na tututunan pa sila or nakukuha ang aral using that social media tools po. So kailan ka magkakaroon ng podcast? Para matuto naman kami sa iyo. Produce tayo at early. <laughs> <laughs> Gawin natin podcast ng KJ. <laughs> so, maraming salamat contestants. Get ready because we're going now into round 2. Dito sa pagbabalik ng KJ Check. Siyempre, tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. At this point, we have Stella with 60 points, Maria Kyle and Sofia with 20 points each, and Marvin with 10. Okay, so bago tayo mag-proceed sa next round natin, tutuloy natin ang ating chikahan, chikahan with our contestants. Ngayon naman si Sofia. Si Sofia ay isang competitive dancer. Okay, so paano ba pinaghahandaan at anong disiplina ang required kapag ikaw ay sumasabak sa dance sport? At isa pang question, ikaw rin ba yung nagde-design ng mga sinusuot mo? Okay, for the first question po, siguro it would sorry. depend. <laughs> Go ahead. It would depend on the kind of competition. So pagdating sa UAAP, since it's a ballroom formation competition, mas challenging actually yung preparation for that since each team is comprised of say, 8 to 10 pairs of dancers. So, kailangan lahat kayo present all the time. Kung hindi, hindi mabubuo yung routine. But, uh, when it comes to competitions na one couple lang kayo, syempre, mas madaling mag-adjust pagdating sa schedule. But, kailangan pa rin very disciplined all the time and very committed sa training. And for my, ano naman, uh, outfits, may times sa nagde-design ako. And actually, right now, I'm also preparing for a fashion show uh, wow. for my... Batches graduation fashion show. Wow. All around. Oo nga. So she's With free plugging on K-Check. Yes, <laughs> yes. So I guess, ano no, na sasama mo yung inspiration mo na 1950s fashion dun sa yes. mga damit. And ballroom as well. Mm. Yung collection ko rin po actually for the 
graduation fashion show is inspired by my dance sport journey. Mm, galing. Invite mo kami dyan, ha? Alright. <laughs> Basta siguradong pupunta ka. Oh, no, Papa-invita ka. <laughs> But anyway, tanungin naman natin si Stella. Ano naman ang paborito mong lugar na napuntahan na? And ano ang dream destination mo and why? Alright, so I think yung pinaka-paborito kong destination is La Union, or LU mm -hmm. as we call it. I think ito yung dream ko no, nung papasok ng college pa lang, I wanted to visit LU. So thankfully, I was able to visit with, you know, my friends and my family. So I really love it kasi, you know, the food's great, the beach is great, the parties are great. And also, you know, it really showcases the beauty of the Philippines as well. Um, but I think my dream destination would probably be London, UK. Um, I don't know, I've always been a fan of One Direction. So ever since, I always loved London. I've always wanted to go and also visit the different places there. From But LU so to London. Cold there. <laughs> yes. oh, from sun to the mm -hmm. cold weather. The cloudy London. Oh. But anyway, diba? it's always nice to talk to our yes. contestants, no? But it's now time for round two. Contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize at lagging tandaan, wait to be called before your answer, otherwise your answer will probably be not considered. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you will lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. Let's begin. Question number one. In mythology, Who is the goddess who protected all the women of Rome and was worshipped as queen of the gods? Stella. Hera. Hera is wrong. Maria Kyle. Athena. Athena is wrong. Sophia. Venus. Venus is wrong. Marvin, may chance ka pa mag-steal? Okay, the correct answer is Juno. Question number two. In geometry, what term refers to two angles whose sum is 90 degrees? Maria Kyle. Right angle. Right angle is wrong. Marvin. Complementary angles. Complementary angles or complementary is correct. K okay, check. Question number three. Usually called the fourth state of matter. What do you call an electrically conducting medium in which many of the electrons wander around freely among the nuclei of the atoms? Marvin. Plasma. Plasma is correct. Hey, check. Question number four. What term refers to a recording of a person that has been convincingly manipulated to misrepresent them as doing something that was not actually done typically used maliciously. The correct answer is deep fake. Uso yan ngayon, kaya mag-ingat tayo sa mga pinapanood natin. Okay, question number five. Meaning sacred carving. What do you call pictures or symbols that represent words that were used in the writing system of ancient Egypt? Sophia. Hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. Which magical creature in the shape of a little old man who likes to cause trouble comes from Ireland and is usually seen wearing green clothes? Maria Clay. Goblin. Goblin is mali. Stella. Leprechaun. Leprechaun is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. What branch of mathematics deals with specific functions of angles and their applications as well as sine and cosine? Stella. Trigonometry. Trigonometry is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. What word that means sinful or blasphemous is the title of a single that became number one in more than 20 countries for Sam Smith and Kim Petras? Stella. Unholy. Unholy is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. In astronomy, what is the shape of the visible part of the moon when it is less than half full? The correct answer is crescent. Question number 10. 
in chemistry. What do you call a substance made up of two or more different chemical elements combined in a fixed ratio? Marvin. Mixture. Mixture is wrong. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is compound. Question number 11. What is the title of the German fairy tale about a brother and a sister who are abandoned in the forest and fall into the hands of Stella? Hansel and Gretel. Let me proceed with the question. Fall into the hands of a witch who lives in a house made of bread. Your answer is Hansel and Gretel. That's correct. K check. Last question for this round in music. Which Greek term meaning heavy sounding refers to the male singing voice between tenor and bass? Sophia. Baritone. Baritone is correct. K check. And that ends round number two. Just to recap, after that second round, we have Stella with 130 points, followed by Sophia with 50, Marvin with 40, and Maria Kyle with a little bit of catching up to do. Tama, hindi pa po tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Welcome back to K-Check. At this point, isang recap lamang. Stella with 130 points, followed by Sophia with 50, Marvin with 40, and Kyle with a little bit of catching up to do. Pero meron pa tayo ang paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Let's go for those points and for the win. Remember, sa ating panel of experts, magagaling ang mga katanungan. Siyempre, dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's begin. So let's begin our ultimate pagalingan round with the first question from Prof. Ricky. Here's our first question. In the vast depths of the ocean, a zone known for its absence of light, what is the name of this dark realm? A. Sophia. Mariana Strange. Malay. Stella. Challenger, Challengers Deep. Mali. A. Twilight Zone. B. Abyssal Zone. C. Hadal Zone. D. Midnight Zone. And E. Beach. Marvin. Abyssal Zone. Mali. Maria Kyle. C. Hadal Zone. Mali. Correct answer is Midnight Zone, or known as Abyssopelagic Zone, which is characterized by complete darkness and extreme pressure. Prof. Lu. In Philippine history, who was the last Sultan of Sulu? Letter A, Sharif Ul Hashim. Letter B, Sultan Kamalud Din. Letter C, Jamalul Kiram II. Letter D, Harun R. Rashid. And letter E, Haji Butu. Jamalul Kiram was the last Sultan to be recognized by the Philippines. He ruled from 1894 to 1915. The correct answer is C, Jamalul Kiram II. Next question from Sir Moen. Ah, we now go to mathematics. What do you call the angles that lie opposite each other when two lines intersect? Stella. Vertical angles. Vertical angles are angles that lie opposite each other when two lines intersect and they are congruent. Vertical angles, K-check. Back to Prof. Ricky. Okay, mahuli tayo. What do you call a polynomial with three terms? A. Stella. Trinomial. A polynomial with three terms is called a trinomial. K check. That was quick. Prof. Liu. In Philippine geography, as of 2019, which region is the smallest 
with an area of only 619.57 square kilometers. Letter A, NCR. Letter B, CAR. Letter C, Davao Region. Letter D, BARM. Letter E, SOC Sergeant. Stella. A, NCR. The National Capital Region, known as Metro Manila, is the capital region and largest metropolitan area of the Philippines. The correct answer is letter A, NCR. Okay, check. Back to you, Sir Mon. Oh, next question is in books. Which female Japanese organizing consultant and author wrote the book The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up? Letter A, Naomi Osaka. Letter B, Marie Kondo. Letter C, Sophia. Uh, B. Marie Kondo. Marie Kondo wrote many books who have been bestsellers, especially The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. Marie Kondo, K-Check. Prof. Ricky. Sa life sciences naman tayo. During glycolysis, glucose is broken down into pyruvate. In which cellular compartment does glycolysis take place? A. Nucleus. B. Mitochondria. C. Marvin. Mitochondria. Male. C. Endoplastic. Endoplasmic reticulum. D. Cytoplasm. E. Cytosol. Glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell. World geography naman. What is the name of the second tallest mountain in the world? Letter A, Everest. Letter B, K2. Letter C, Lotse. Letter D, Nanga Parbat. And letter E, Sho Oyu. K2 at 8,611 meters above sea level is the second highest mountain on Earth after Mount Everest at 8,849 meters. Sir Mon. Oh, we now go to sports. Which French basketball player became the youngest in NBA history to put up at least 20 points and 20 rebounds in a single game? That was last December 2023. Letter A, Rudy Gobert. Letter B, Victor Wembanyama. Letter C, Chet Holmgren. D, Direct Lively. Letter E, Jaime Jaquez. Victor Wembanyama. Mahirap i-pronounce ang kanyang surname. And does not sound very French either. Uh, it's French Africa from <laughs> Congo. Uh, he was selected first during the 2023 NBA draft. Back to Prof. Ricky. Material science naman tayo. Which material property describes a material's ability to resist deformation under an applied load? A. Toughness. B. Hardness. C. Strength. E, stiffness, and E, ductility. Marvin. E, ductility. Mali. Maria Kyle. E, toughness. Uh, Mali. Stella. B, hardness. Mali. Sophia. D, stiffness. Stiffness, Keicha. Prof. Liu. In Asian history, who launched the Cultural Revolution in China? Letter A, Chiang Kai-shek. Letter B, Mao Zedong. Letter C, Deng Xiaoping. Letter D, Xi Jinping. And letter E, Hu Jintao. Maria Kyle. Xi Jinping. Mali. Anyone can steal? Mine's up. Mao Zedong was a Chinese politician, Marxist theorist, military strategist, poet, and revolutionary who was the founder of the People's Republic of China. The correct answer is B, Mao Zedong. Sir Moan. Uh, this is a question in mathematics. Elementary mathematics, don't worry. 
what number is exactly between one half and one fourth? Letter A, one fifth. Letter B, one third. Letter C, three fourths. Letter D, three fifths. Letter E, three eighths. Between uh, one half and Marvin. one fourth. B, one third. One third is not correct. Anyone can steal? Uh, Sophia. E, three eighths. One half is four over eight. One fourth is two over eight. So between four over eight and two over eight is three over eight. Three eighths, K-check. And that's it for the K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Stella with 190 points, our K-Check Daily Winner. With that final score, we'll see Stella again on Friday when she competes with her other Daily Winners for a spot in our semi-finals. That's right. And of course, we'd like to thank the other contestants, Marvin, Maria Kyle, and Sophia for joining. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Ricky, Professor Lou, and Sir Mon. Maraming salamat po. I'm Jules Gia. And I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another exciting round here on K-Check. K -Check.